Hey guys, this video is going to go over the order of operations in evaluating expressions. Please take notes and try these problems together with me. Alright, first thing, I just want to review the order of operations. It's kind of a set of rules that you have to follow to make sure that we all get the same answer when we're solving math problems. So the very first thing you should always look for when we're doing the order of operations are parentheses or brackets. Um, division lines, so you might have something you have to do on the top and the bottom. Those are kind of two separate things. And absolute value symbols. Okay, so you might have the absolute value of something. Okay, this, so you always do those things first. The second thing that you want to look for are exponents. So you might have something squared or something cubed and square roots or cube roots. All right, and then if you do have one of these things, you also need to follow the order of operations inside of there. So inside of a square root symbol, you have to follow the order of operations. Inside of the parentheses, follow the order of operations. Okay, your third level, you need to look for multiplying and dividing. Okay, so times and dividing. And it goes from left to right. So whatever comes first, you do first. Dividing comes first, divide first. If multiplying comes first, multiply first. Okay, and the very last thing you do is adding and subtracting. So adding and subtracting are always last. And again, you go from left to right. So whatever comes first. All right, a couple tips when we are doing problems with orders of operations or evaluating expression. Um, first tip is to highlight addition and subtraction signs and circle terms. All right, so an example of that would be I see my subtraction sign, I would highlight it. My addition sign, I would highlight it. And then I would circle my terms. Here would be a term, here would be one big term, and another term. Okay, then you would do each of those things. Okay, so the first number I'd get a four, minus, I would do everything inside here, following the order of operations, get my answer, and then I would write two plus six. Then I would go to left, from left to right. So we did that last year, so make sure you highlight addition and subtraction signs, circle terms. That's one tip that you can use. A second tip that you might want to use, I'll go over in this video, is whenever you're evaluating expressions, use parentheses. So if I give you 5x and I say, evaluate that if x is negative 2, I would want you to write 5 and then put parentheses and instead of the x, now you can put a negative 2. Then you can solve it. All right, and then the third little tip is you never should be adding or subtracting first unless it's in parentheses. Adding, subtracting is last. Always save that for last. All right, we are going to try a problem. So please write this problem down in your notes. So we have 2x squared minus yk minus x. Now, when you do these types of problems, the first thing you need to do is rewrite the problem, filling in whatever the variables are. Okay, so instead of an x, I'm gonna put a negative two wherever there's an x. Instead of a y, I'll put a negative three. And instead of a k, I'll put a five. So when you do that, I want you to use parentheses. So I'm gonna start by rewriting my two. Now I see an X, so I'm gonna fill in parentheses, and then I'm gonna put the little squared symbol. Okay, so now instead of an X, I'm gonna fill in a negative two right where the X was. So I'll put that there. Okay, I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna write my minus sign. Okay, and then I see a Y, I'm gonna put parentheses and a K. Okay, so I want you to definitely use parentheses. Now, instead of a Y, I'll fill in a negative three here, and instead of K, I'll fill in a five. Okay, then I'm gonna continue. I see a minus sign, and then I see an X, so again, I'm gonna fill in parentheses and then fill in what it is. So x is negative two, so I'll fill that in. So that's your very first step. Use parentheses, rewrite it. Okay, now we can go back and do the order of operations. Now remember, you're adding, subtracting, you save till the end. So you kind of think, oh, I'm saving these. Those are just gonna kind of drop right down. Okay, here's one set of thing. Here's a term I need to do. So here, follow the order of operations. I need to do my parentheses first with the exponents. So I need to do negative two, square it. Well, negative two times negative two is four, and then it says to times that by two, which gives me eight. Okay, I'm gonna to come to my next term, which is right here, and I'm gonna work that out. Negative three times five is negative 15. It's a negative number. I'll put it in parentheses. And then notice I kept that minus sign. I just dropped it down right here. Okay, kept this minus sign, dropped it down, and then I'm just gonna write negative two. There's nothing to do really there. Okay, now, if you guys look at this, it looks like it's all subtracting. When I see subtracting, I like to change it to add the opposite. So I am going to change this to add the opposite and come back here. I'll add the opposite. Now, if you look at the problem, now it says 8 plus 15 plus 2. Now, when you add, it doesn't matter the order you go. 
So I'd probably, if it was me, I'd combine my 8 and my 2, which is 10, plus 15, finally is 25. All right, so I just evaluated that expression um, and got an answer of 25. Okay, let's go ahead and try this next problem. So please write this one down. Okay, so take a second, copy it down. All right, now again, first thing you wanna do is start by rewriting it. So the first number I see is a five. So I'm gonna rewrite the five and then I see parentheses. Okay, now here's where it gets a little tricky. Now inside that parentheses, it says y right away. Okay, a w the y is negative three. So if you want, you could put that in parentheses again. Okay, or you could just rewrite it. Either way is fine. And then minus one, and then I'm gonna put my parentheses and then it says squared. Okay, and then it says minus parentheses negative three. So this one I only had to fill in for one letter. I only had to fill in for the y. Okay, now order of operations, remember, subtracting is last. So let's come here and I see parentheses. So inside this parentheses, I have to do this first. Do everything inside there first. Now, some people might think, well, should I do the distributive property? No, you only do the distributive property if there's like an x in there or some other variable. So inside here, I'm going to add the opposite and I'm, I see negative three plus negative one. Well, that equals negative four. So I'm just gonna rewrite that. I got negative four inside the parentheses. It says squared and a five here and then minus negative three. Okay, next comes exponents. So I need to do negative four squared. Well, a negative four times a negative four is a positive 16. Okay, that's what I got inside there now, times five and then minus a negative three. All right, now I need to work out 16 times five. If you're not sure what that is, just come over here, work it out. I get 30 and I get eight, so I get 80. So 80 minus a negative three. All right, so my last step, it says 80, take away a negative three. Um, so I'm going to add the opposite, and 80 plus three is 83. All right, we have one more to try. So if you guys can push pause and try this one by yourself, uh, and then you can check to see how you did. All right, let's start filling it in. Instead of a K, I'm gonna put a five. Now that's not a negative number, but you can still put it in parentheses if you want. Okay, then it says minus. Okay, I see a Y and an X, so I'm gonna write two parentheses, and I'm gonna fill those in. So instead of a Y, I'll put a negative three. Instead of an X, I'll put a negative two. Don't forget your negative signs. And then it says divide by X. I'm gonna put a parentheses. Instead of an X, I'll put a negative two. And then it says plus, and then it says Y. I'll put parentheses again. Instead of a Y, I'll put a negative three. Now again, these parentheses just help you so you don't miss any negative signs and don't get anything mixed up. Okay, so now I have to be very careful on ones like this. I see a subtraction sign and an addition sign. Those, I don't do anything with those till the end. So if it helps you, kind of think, okay, I can't do my subtraction first. So this is a term if you want to circle them. Then this is one big thing here and then something here. So again, subtraction and addition, you do not do those till the end. Sometimes I like to just bring them down there. So I have five, just keep that. Here, it's multiplying and dividing. Multiplying and dividing, go left to right. So a negative times a negative is a positive six divided by negative two. So you guys can do that. Six divided by negative two gives me negative three. Okay, and then it says plus another negative three down here. All right, I'm just gonna rewrite it so it's a little neater. It says five minus negative three and then plus negative three. Okay, a couple more steps. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna add the opposite. Okay, now I can just go left to right. Five plus three is eight, and then it says plus negative three. Now remember, you can't put positives and negatives together. Three of those will cancel three of those, and I'm left with five for an answer. All right, we're gonna try one last problem. So if you guys can copy this one down. Okay, this is probably one of the harder ones that you have to be really careful with your parentheses. So first thing, I see this big set of parentheses and this set of parentheses. Now inside there, we might have to draw some more. This one says two times x. Well, x I know is a negative three, so I'll fill that in. Okay, over here it says x, which is a negative three, and it says minus, and then it says k, which is a negative two. So sometimes you have to draw parentheses inside of parentheses. Okay, not quite done. It says plus, and then it says x. Okay, well, I'll put my parentheses, and I know x is negative three, and it says to square that. Okay, 
So I kind of, right away, I try to remember this plus I'm not doing till the end. So just kind of bring it down. So we have some parentheses. Let's do each set. So in the first set of parentheses, 2 times negative 3 gives me negative 6. In the second set of parentheses, I better add the opposite here. So I'm going to add the opposite. And now I have negative 3 plus 2, which gives me negative 1. Now, do you notice how I just put that in parentheses? Because it was right next to each other, which means times. And then plus, in the back here, negative 3 squared means negative 3 times negative 3, which is 9. Okay, again, I'm not doing my plus until the end, so you can just rewrite that. So now this means times, so a negative times a negative is a positive 6. Now I can finally add 6 plus 9 is 15. All right, now you're going to practice doing some evaluating expressions using the order of operations.